A trip to Paris is on almost everyone's bucket list. It's difficult to talk about overseas travel without mentioning the magnificent city of love. However, if you're only going to be there for a limited period, you really would like to spend your time doing the things you really must see. We'll go through the top 10 things you should do in Paris in this video in 2022. Number 10. Explore the Paris Catacombs Did you know that beneath the City of Lights, there are tunnels filled with bones? The Paris Catacombs may appear a little eerie or filthy, but they are a fantastic aspect of Parisian history. Over 6 million people's skeletons are buried in the catacombs. The catacombs were built in the 18th century when the city's death toll had climbed so high that the local cemeteries couldn't keep up. People's skeletons began to be relocated to the limestone mines beneath Paris, today known as the Paris Catacombs. The catacombs are a labyrinth that stretches for nearly 200 miles, although a small segment is exposed to the public and may be explored. You could believe it is simply a cemetery, but it's darker than that. There are rooms upon rooms of skulls and human bones. A visit to the Paris catacombs may be scary, but it's an experience that cannot be replicated anywhere. Number 9. Wandering around a Parisian street market One of the most popular activities for tourists in Paris is to immerse themselves in local culture by visiting a neighborhood market. Located in the Upper Marine neighborhood, the Marché des Enfants Rouges is Paris's oldest covered market. If an outdoor market appeals to you, go to the Allegro market in the 12th arrondissement. Another option is the famous Bastille Market, which is open Thursday and Sunday. It is one of the largest open-air markets in Paris and sells a variety of foods and goods. If you need picnic supplies for your Eiffel Tower visit, then stop by Rue Claire. Number 8. Get memorized by the Musée de l'Orangerie This gallery is a must-see for museum visitors, particularly Monet admirers. The Musée de l'Orangerie is a branch of the Musée d'Orsay that holds a large collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist paintings. It is most known for Claude Monet's enlarged water lilies. The eight huge artworks are shown in two circular rooms lighted by natural light from a glass roof. Monet enlarged these paintings to fully immerse viewers in their beauty, especially after the hardships of World War I. The Musée de l'Orangerie also houses the Jean Waterpaul Galome collection, which include works from Renoir, Cézanne, Picasso, Matisse, and others. In addition to the Water Lily series, you may visit the museum in a short amount of time because it is a rather tiny facility, which means it can be done very fast if you are in a hurry. The smaller room also means fewer people, which many museum goers liked. Number 7. Watch the Palais Garnier. The Opera Garnier, also known as the Palais Garnier, is a feat of architectural beauty that still exudes the same enthralling atmosphere it had in the late 1800s. The opera's profound sense of intrigue and mystery is owing in part to the Garnier's awe-inspiring old-world interiors, as well as Gaston Leroux, the author of The Phantom of the Opera, which was inspired by Garnier. Buying a ballet or opera ticket is the finest way to truly appreciate the Palais Garnier. Remember to get your tickets many weeks in advance, since concerts are quite popular. The interiors of the structure are breathtaking, and tourists can't believe their eyes. Attendees say the Palais Garnier was very stunning, right down to the smallest nooks and crannies, with some comparing it to the magnificence of Versailles. If you are in love with ballet and theater performances, the Palais Garnier is the great fit just for you. Number 6. Visit the Normandy D-Day Beaches The beaches of Normandy and the Pont du Hoc bunker are synonymous with World War II, and visiting in person puts things into perspective. The beaches are not near to the Paris, but given their significance, we recommend you spend a day in the capital. It is a 3-4 to four hour drive from Paris, and there are also convenient train links from Paris to the area. On this full-day excursion from Paris to the Normandy beaches, you will get a historical glimpse at the D-Day landings. Visit Omaha Beach and Operation Overlord Museum, German Bunkers, Pont de Hoc, and the American Cemetery, which has 10,000 white crosses in a comfortable vehicle that seats no more than 8 people. Explore the historic military maps, plans, and images while hearing amazing stories about June 6, 1944. Before returning to Paris, sip some of Normandy's famed traditional cider. Number 5. Take a boat tour in Seine River one of the most well-known rivers in the world, as well as a tourist destination. The Seine is easy to find because it runs straight through the center of Paris. It runs east to west, separating the city into the left and right banks. In 1991, it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for visitors. The river serves mostly as a backdrop for photographs, but for locals, it serves as a lifeline. It provides a consistent source of water, a substantial transit route, and is crucial for many forms of trade. Since the third century, it has also been exploited as a source of subsistence for numerous fishermen because of its historical and contemporary cultural significance. It is advised that you begin your Paris vacation with a boat excursion on the Seine River to familiarize yourself with the city. 
Local products, including publications and handmade crafts, are sold by Parisians along the river banks. Also, don't forget to capture a photo-worthy moment while crossing the river's bridges. Number 4. Visit the Louis Vuitton Foundation You would like to visit the renowned designer brand, which is in the city and has been available to the public since October 2014. The Vuitton collection is housed in a stunning glass, wood and steel building, constructed by acclaimed architect Frank Gehry, with interlocking geometric shapes. Among the treasures displayed on this 3,500-square-meter facility are works by Andreas Gursky, Olafur Eliasson, Andy Warhol, Gerhard Richter, and Ellsworth Kelly. There are also wonderful temporary exhibitions and musical events on a variety of topics. The patio offers breathtaking views of the adjacent zoo and Paris. You'd enjoy admiring the architectural marvel and its surrounding gardens, as well as the one-of-a-kind displays within, to guarantee a pleasant visit to the building. Get a ticket ahead of time to avoid huge queues. Number 3. Make a trip to Versailles Historically, only royal families could stroll the hallways of the palace, but cities like Paris have made it possible for anybody to do so. The kings of France resided at the Palace of Versailles for a century until being forced to leave during the French Revolution, but they left behind an edifice that should not be ignored. This is a location you should spend a whole day visiting. Since it's not simply a series of massive hallways, there's a lot to see. Inside the main palace, there are 2,300 rooms that you can't see in one day. But the royal bedchamber, Marie Chambers, Antoinette's and King's apartments, as well as the fabled Hall of Mirrors, are must-sees. But that's not all. Outside the main palace, there's also the incredibly magnificent garden, the Queen's Hamlet and the Trianon Estate, all of which are so one-of-a-kind that you won't regret visiting. You'd enjoy admiring the architectural marvel and its surrounding gardens, as well as the one-of-a-kind displays within. Again, to guarantee a pleasant visit to the building, get a ticket ahead of time to avoid huge queues. Number 2. Come and see the Louvre Museum If you only had time to visit one museum in Paris, make it the Musée de Louvre. Opened in 1793 and consists of 35,000 works of art, the Louvre is the world's largest and possibly best art museum as well as the home to the very fabric of Western civilization, making it important to society. There are also hundreds more artworks to look over. Masterworks include Eugene Delacroix's Liberty of Leading the People, Theodore Jericho's The Raft of Medusa, and Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, the museum's main attraction. Joining a small group with a tour guide enhances your visit to the Louvre and makes it more memorable. Number 1. See the Eiffel Tower We can't have a good list about Paris without including the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is the symbol of Paris. The structure was scheduled to be demolished after 20 years when it was completed in 1889. Yet, it still exists today, more than 130 years later. Seeing the tower in person surpasses any pictures you've seen of it and standing on the tower seals the deal. According to some, the view from the top of the Eiffel Tower is the greatest you'll ever see. The best thing about the Eiffel Tower is that it has a separate and distinct atmosphere. When the lights start to shine and the tower can truly show off, this is a location you may appreciate both from afar and while you're on top of it. That brings us to the end of today's video. Which of these items would you choose first? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.